Hey kiddos, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm continuing working on music for the kids TV show. Here's a quick boop picture of that real fast if you don't know about it. But in this lesson today, I just wanna keep showing you how my brain works when I'm creating music on the guitar. And that's usually my number one rule, and I think you should think about it, is always be creating music on your instrument when you're playing it. So in that little snippet in the beginning, I was working on a really funny song about loving tacos, working on it with some of my students, and we were having a blast. But what I did within the context of that little musical piece is I played just three E major chords in a row, or triads, and then three D major triads in a row. And I think it's really important for you to learn all your triads all over the neck because it's very musical, and it helps you understand exactly how to apply that to your songwriting process. So let's just take a look at that real fast, and we'll go from there. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's just make this real short and sweet. Again, I'll throw the chord charts over my shoulder that I made for you, and you'll, I'll write out exactly where my fingers are so it's a piece of cake. Go to the link in the description below. You can go to my website and download that. I'll combine it into one PDF to make it real simple for you. All right, so... These are, this is a triad shape you're gonna use all over the neck forever, and it's a great one. So you take your third finger and you wanna get that root note eat right there on the 14th fret. And it's just the first, second, and third finger in this shape right here. See that? So I just go like this. So, right? Then I just slide it down and I'm gonna bar on the ninth fret on the D, G, and B strings. And in there I've got the note B, I've got my E right here on G sharp. And then I just go down to an open E chord. So it's like this. One more time. Okay, and now we just do it the same shapes, but starting with our root note on the 12th fret on the D string, there's your D, D F sharp A, right? So and then the bar on the seventh fret, catching that triad of the D chord right there, and then to an open D. So, okay? And then I just reverse it in the second half of the chord progression for the song. I just start with the open E, I go, right? And then I slide up to the ninth fret, grab that triad with the bar right there with my first finger, and then back to where we started. And then Z, the same thing. Start with the open D, okay? Slide up, grab that bar triad on the seventh fret and then up to the D right there. All right, piece of cake, right? So let's listen to it really fast. I'll play along with the song, and then it will totally make sense, and then that's what I want you to work on. Just work on finding these triads all over the neck with different chords, and you would never think playing three E chords in a row, or three E triads, and three D major triads in a row would sound very musical, but it does. You're playing in different spots of the neck. Sometimes you have a, uh, a lower note in the bass note, which, you know, that's an inversion. We'll get into that later. But just always be musical, okay? So work on that. So let's listen to it in the song real fast, and we'll wrap this video up. All right, let's do that now. Tacos for breakfast. Kiddos, let's wrap this up. So you saw what I did there. It wasn't super confusing, all right? So do yourself a favor, and when you practice, practice efficiently and always be musical on the guitar or your instrument that you're practicing on. So what I did there is I just played three E triads right in a row, and then I did three D major triads right in a row, and then I just went right back up the neck and ended where I started, you know? Piece of cake, and you see it in the, in the context of a piece of music you can hear how it still sounds very musical because I'm just getting that nice foundation there and then building around it. And so it'll be fun to see where this song goes. Now, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, go back. Those are pretty interesting as well because I show you how I'm continually writing music for the TV show. And as always, if you have any comments or suggestions or anything you want to add, put it in the section below. Again, you can get all these chord charts right off the website. So click that link in the description box. It'll take you there. Subscribe, please. I want to build this community. I want to turn you into an amazing, awesome musician. And on that note, I'll end by saying what I always do. Go out, create, be amazing. See you on the flip side.